Hi y'all, my name is Tina. Welcome back to Reaction Row. Today I am watching the first and second episode of season three of Hannibal. That last season finale just left me speechless. It took me a little bit to process it. Um, I literally thought that Will was going to end up leaving with Hannibal and Abigail, but it was too late. Hannibal knew that he betrayed him and he didn't accept him the way he that he, you know, that he was. And um Hannibal just was done with Will. So it was sort of heartbreaking to see because you could tell that Hannibal really cared for him. He really wanted Will to know him and accept him. And um just to to have Will's end be so abrupt like that, it was it was too much for me. Like I still wanted to know more about Will, about his background. I kept saying it, I think since season one that I want to know his like his origins, um, you know, how he was as a kid and stuff like that. And to be rooting for Will for so long and then for it to end abruptly like that, it just, it was a lot. <laughs> um, but you know, during that last supper uh, scene, I thought that Will was really going to be on Hannibal's side. The whole time, you know, through season two, when Will gets um, gets out of the uh, hospital, the, uh, the state hospital or the behavior hospital or whatever it's called, I thought, okay, he's going to play Hannibal and all of that. But as time went on, you know, closer to the end of the season, you could see the shift in Will. So you could see that he might be able to accept Hannibal for who he is, even though he was still working with Jack. I thought on that very last episode, my mind changed and I thought, okay, he's going to turn on Jack and he's going to, you know, leave with with Hannibal, but he didn't. I mean, the way that it was filmed was so great. It kind of felt like a family unit when there was a reunion between or um, with Hannibal, Abigail, and Will. And I wish we had more of a reunion scene, but the way that they filmed it was heartbreakingly beautiful, you know? Um, so I saw that end credit. Um, I at first didn't see it, but when I did, so I had predicted, oh, he's going to go to another country and, and do the same thing. And then the end credit shows that he's on a plane with the psychiatrist, his psychiatrist, I always forget her name, um, Jillian Ander Anderson's character. So I'm assuming that she's been working with him this whole time or she's scared of him and that's why she's working with him still. I don't know. Um, in season one, I thought that she was like him and was a, was a cannibal too. But then in season two, it made me feel like, no, she really isn't. She's scared of him. So we'll see in season three what her deal is because I'm very, very curious now that I've seen them on the plane together. So I'm going to get started. I'm really excited um, for this season. Someone told me it's kind of like a two-parter. So I'm going to go ahead and, and keep that in mind for when I do my episodes so I don't... Um, so there's not like a, a confusion for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, I didn't know it was him. I thought maybe it was going to be like someone. Look at him, Hannibal, on a bike. Okay. With a motorcycle jacket. It's very different from the Hannibal that we remember in the three-piece suits. Anthony Dimon, Boris Yakov. I'd offer a hand, but it's a double-fisted kind of bash. Do you know Roman well? He was staring with the thin veil disdain of a man who does. I was his TA at Cambridge. He's a sufferer even now. Have you read his books? They're terrible. Yeah. You know they're terrible. He was too polite to say. And but yet he carries it around. That doesn't stop him squatting over his keyboard and depositing a fresh one every six to eight months. 
It takes me six or eight months to write one line. What? Poetry's hard. Too hard for Roman. And it's easy for him to slide into academia and dissect the work of others than it is to stand by his own words. One can appreciate another's words without dissecting them. So, on occasion, dissection is the only thing that will do. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Is he going to be his next victim? His next will? His next dinner? <laughs> I wonder how much time has passed. Bonsoir. Um, bonsoir. Okay, so it still says Lawrence Fishburne and stuff, so they're alive. Unless I didn't change it. So Will's alive too? Oh, I don't know. Smoked, glazed, served on a sugar cane cloth before they left the boat. Well, of course. And with these rarefied dishes so carefully prepared, do we all taste different? Everyone has that flavor. Yeah. Cannibalism was standard behavior among our ancestors. Missing Link was only missing because we ate him. This isn't cannibalism, Hayden. It's only cannibalism for you, This is only cannibalism if you eat me. You just feel this is the natural order of things. Everybody gets at. Be he fat or be he lean. With my last leg standing next to me, I should still wrestle with the urges to fight or flee. It's called terminal restlessness. Your body fills with adrenaline and feels compelled to go, go, go. <laughs> go, go, go. I've go, go, go. Gone. This is posthumous. You're not dead yet, Abel. You still have to eat. No, I don't. At this point, there's absolutely nothing I have to do. Spoil the fairy tale, should I? You in the little gingerbread house. Let it be a fairy tale then. Once upon a time. <laughs> well, they look lovely. Stunning. The elegance. is admirable. Thank you. For straniero. Are you familiar with the personalities of pre-Renaissance Florence? I think not. Dr. Fell might hold in his hand in his non-Italian So he's hand, going by Dr. Fell? No, from Dante to get himself. Would he recognize it? I think not. Allegro mi sembrava amore, tenendo me il cuore in mano, e nelle braccia aveva Madonna in volta in un drappo tormento. Poi la svegliava testo cuore ardendo, lei paventosa, umilmente, a scia. Ma preso il giro, non è vedea che c'è il Dante's first sonnet. It fascinated Cavalcanti the eating of the heart is a powerful image. 
If he's such an expert on Dante, let him lecture on Dante to the studiolo. Let him face them. Extempore. I'm happy to sing for my supper. Where's the studiolo? Oh, I, oh, I love him. I don't like what he does, but I love him. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? I still believe I am in conscious control of my actions. Given your history, that's a good day. Okay, so she thinks she's in control. It's eerie. She didn't realize she was doing it. He does have the power of persuasion. If you think you're about to catch up, it's because he wants you to think of her. So he went there after he left his own place. Okay. Taken off my person suit. You let them see you. I let them see enough. How does it feel? Being seen? Well, you're in no position to ask, Dr. Dumayan. You ended our patient psychiatrist relationship. I lacked the appropriate skills to continue your therapy. I never found you to be lacking. I'm sorry I didn't provide you with a suitable substitute for therapy. Is Will Graham still alive? Will Graham was not a suitable substitute for therapy. What was he? Is this professional curiosity? Almost entirely. Almost. Do you trust me? Not entirely. If you taken into consideration my beliefs about your intentions. My intentions? Human motivation can be a little more than lucid greed. Greed? And blind optimism? If you're optimistic, I will kill you. Mr. Jacob, isn't it? We met in Paris a few months back. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. It was just here I was, and then there you were. I mm. never forget a face. Anthony Dimmitt. Nice to be remembered. You're hard to forget. What are you doing in Florence? You working with Roman? Took a film. I heard he took an appointment at the Caponi Library. Yes, he's the new curator and translator at the Palazzo Caponi. Evidently, the last one I learned from the woman. Or someone's money. Or both. That's a commonly held belief. I feel like this man's like stalking him. 
Well, you just missed one. Did I? Oh, I was having to take the piss. <laughs> Spare the piss for the time being. If you are free, my wife and I would love to have you for dinner. Um, literally. <laughs> Okay, so we're back on this. Gideon, okay? Listen. They prefer E.G. and company. I've kept copy of garden since I was a young man. Fattening snails on herbs and vine leaves. Like all of us, what they eat greatly influences and enhances their flavor. When I'm not busy eating myself, you wish me to be eating oysters, drinking sweet wines, and snacking on acorns, all to make me tastier? Oh, yes. Who is that? You're huh? making them tastier. And I, you. Imagine what you must taste like. Won't be long until someone's taking a bite out of you. You're becoming brighter, Abel. Dying hasn't told you one bit. Snails are certainly having a lovely experience, fattened on me in a red wine marinade. So it's still him? I have no idea they're going to be eaten. We do. Oh. Roman is speaking to the studio on a Friday. I'm dancing. You should come. Sounds appropriately hellish. Are you avoiding meats? I'm trying not to eat anything with the central nervous system. <laughs> Oysters, acorns, and masala. That's what the ancient Romans would feed animals to improve their flavor. The amusement in his eyes. Ah. He has a very sophisticated palate. He's very particular about how I taste. Is it that kind of person? It's not that kind of person. Let him go. So she knows he's going to be on, she's going to be on his well, menu we'll soon, probably. Time. And that guy's going to as well, probably. Mm -hmm. Why does she walk so slow? I need a little enthusiasm from her. I mean, she's stunning and all, but she doesn't even move her face when she speaks. It drives me insane. Ooh, she's hoping that they find her. You were defending yourself. I was right. This wasn't reckless violence. It was a controlled use of force. He was your patient before he was mine. He died under your care. You were not defending yourself. I can help you tell the version of events you want to be told. I can help you if you ask me to. This is why she felt indebted to him. Will you help me? It includes the 
death by hanging of Judas, his face upturned to the branch that's suspensive. On the doors of the Benevento Cathedral, we see Judas hanging with his bowels falling out. And here, from a 15th century edition of the Inferno, is Pietro della Venia's body hanging from a bleeding tree. I won't belabor their parallels with Judas Iscariot, betrayal, hanging, self destruction. I make my own home be my gallows. Mr. Dimon, welcome. Please join us. We were just about to discuss the matter of chewing and dancing. Where'd she go? There she go. A little haste. That is fine. I thought the applause was downright enthusiastic. It's soft and dusty one. And Dr. Fenn is a friend of yours. I was his TA at Cambridge. Tales I could tell. Please do. What kind of friend would I be? Same line? Oh, who is this guy? Dr. And why is he infatuated with Hannibal? Wickedness has your attention, Mr. Newman. Yours. Dr. Sal. Huh. I have no delusions about morality. If I did, I would have gone to La Polizia. I'm curious as to what fate befell Dr. Sal to see you here in his stead. You may have to strap it to the Okay, I get it now. Dr. Fell was the one the bonsoir. My affection for genuine Dr. Fell. Clearly you found him as distasteful as I did. On the contrary. We can twist ourselves into all manner of uncomfortable positions just to maintain appearances with or without a breaking. Are you here to twist me into an uncomfortable position? I'm here to help you not twist. Come on, which one is it? Hannibal works alone. <laughs> very moment observing or participating. Observing? You say you're observing, but this, this is participation with you. Did you know what you would do? I would prefer you answer honestly. I was curious. You're curious what would happen. You're curious what Mr. Dimon would do, what I would do. Did you anticipate our thoughts, counter thoughts, rationalizations? Yes. Is this what you expected? This is a much darker um, Hannibal because he's not hiding anymore. Would you rather I extended you the same kindness as to Escargot? Eating me without my knowledge. Well, as 
my knowing to be far more powerful. Why do you think I'm allowing this? Why do you think I'm allowing this? Because snails aren't the only creatures who prefer eating the company. If only the company could be Will Graham. He didn't know. I'm just fascinated to know how you will feel when all this happens to you. Wonder where he's headed now. Okay, so he's still in Italy. I'm curious if Will, oh, there he is. Are we gonna see his death again? We couldn't leave without you. He's so devastated, like Hannibal's fate. Oh, he's such a good actor. Well, they both are. I thought he was gonna kiss him. Honestly. Not this again. Oh. So I did reverse. The teacup that I shattered did come together. The place was made for Abigail in your world. You understand? That place was made for all of us. Did you get that? I wanted to surprise you. Hmm. And you. He wanted to surprise me. Let you know me. This is sad. See me. He just wanted him to accept him. But you didn't want it. Did not. I think I'm gonna tear up again. You would deny me my life. No. No. Not your life. No. My freedom then. You would take that from me. Oh. Oh. Find me it's a prison cell. Do you believe you could change me the way I've changed you? I already have. I already did. I already did. I knew he was gonna say something like that. I don't wanna cry. Fate and circumstance have returned us to this moment. When the teacup shatters. I forgive you, Will. Will you forgive me? Oh, no, don't. No.
was in a dream. Her teacup shattering. Coming back together. Y'all, nobody, okay, I'm so glad no one spoiled it for me, but holy darn. Abigail's alive? surgical. He wanted us to live. What was it all that blood though? He left us to die. We didn't. If he, he wanted them to die, to they would have died. We were all supposed to leave together. Made a place for us. Abigail. Why did you lie to him? The wrong thing being the right thing to do. Too ugly a thought. He gave you a chance to take it all back and you just kept lying. No one had to die. It's hard to grasp what would have happened, what could have happened. Some of the world did happen. Having a hard enough time dealing with this world. Hope some of the other worlds are easier on me. Everything that can happen happens. It has to end well. And it has to end badly. It has to end every way it can. This is the way it ended for us. We don't have an ending. He didn't give us one yet. He wants us to find him. After everything he's done, you still go to him? Everything that can happen, happens, then you can never really do the wrong thing. Makes sense, I guess. You're just doing what you're supposed to. Will really does, I think really, Will really did want to go with him. Like I had said, he just, it's like a morality thing. We have gone from this life. I would always have this place. Your memory palace? My palace is vast, even by medieval standards. The foyer is a Norman chapel in Palermo. Severe, beautiful, and timeless, with a single reminder of mortality. A skull, graven in the floor.
He's gonna know where to find him. Oh my God, they came? Are they going to be a family? Do you feel closer to God? God's not who I came here to find. God can't save any of us because it's inelegant. Elegance is more important than suffering. That's his design. Are you talking about God or Hannibal? to this. I wish it would tell me like time frames. <laughs> I mean, I know we got the eight months, but that's all we got. But when it flashes back and stuff. Like when was this was before Will and Abigail came or, oh, guess not. Is it him? Signore, è proibito qui, la cappella è chiusa. Mamma, non lasciarlo uscire. Voglio parlare con lui. What did he say? He said he wants to talk to you. Investigator Rinaldo Bassi, quest'ora di Firenze. A long way from Florence. You are a long way from Baltimore. <laughs> I heard everything I can find. On FBI profiling methods. I read all about your incarceration. Keep reading, I was acquitted. You come to Palermo, and soon, very soon, a body is discovered. The priest at the Cappella dei Normanni said you have been spending a lot of time there. <laughs> there is some comfort in prayer. It leaves you with the distinct feeling you're not alone. Signore, vieni con me. Those moments when the connection is made, that is my keenest pleasure. No way. Knowing, not feeling, not thinking. You know who murdered that man and left him in the Cabela Palatina? Don't you know? I met him 20 years ago. 20 years? Il Mostro. The monster of Florence. It was his custom to arrange his victims like a beautiful painting. Il Mostro created images that stayed in my mind. 20 years ago, I was dwelling on a couple of pounds lay in the bed of a pickup truck in Impruneta. But this place garlanded with flowers. Capacelli. Exactly like a Botticelli. That's where I met this man, the monster of Florence. That's a good face. Such a good face. Okay, so he has been. Comes as a result of inspiration 
good at what he does for over 20 years, so in his early 20s, because he's probably what, or late 20s. So crazy. So I wonder how young he started doing this. It was the best moment of my life. A moment of epiphany that made me famous and then ruined me. In haste and heat of ambition, the questurer nearly destroyed the young man's home, trying to find evidence. He doesn't leave evidence. No, he doesn't. He eats it. Another man, not an innocent man, but innocent of those crimes was a dream suspect. He was convicted on no evidence, except his character. I am has a habit of not sticking to Hannibal Lecter. Dynamically. Maybe malleable. Or skin deep. Bent you, twisted you, and trimmed you. Head, hands, arms, and legs. <laughs> Topiary. My design. Valentine lived on a broken man. Yeah, it's going to burst. Ready. Is it going to be a bird again? Okay, no. What a person. Coming undone. Ew. Oh, stag. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, no me gusta. No, sir. That's ugly, I don't like the way it looks. Okay, so I thought they were there to find Hannibal to be with him, but I guess they're closer to Hannibal. God only knows where I'd be without him. He left us his his broken heart. How did he know we were? didn't. But he knew we would come. He misses us. Hannibal follows several trains of thought at once without distraction from any one of the trains. It's always for his own amusement. He's playing with us. Always. So they're gonna play back or? I wanna go with him. Yes. Gave you back to me. The 
see the football. It just keeps pulling you away. What if no one died? What if? What if we all left together? Like we were supposed to. After we served the lamb. Where would we have gone? Here, probably. From some other world. From some other world. He said he made a place for us. Place wasn't made for you, Abigail. In this world. It's the only place I could make for you. This show needs to quit messing with me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was wondering how she would survive with all that blood. So is it like a cat and mouse game? Like, is Will still there to catch him or? Or is Will there to join him? I don't understand. Oh, it's a trap, sir. It's going to get you. I don't know this man's name, but Will is leading him to his demise. <laughs> I think Will knows that that's what he's doing. What are you going to do when you find him? You're in more strong. Curious about that myself. Oh, so Will still hasn't decided. You and I carry the dead with us in your grave. We both need to unburden. them. Why don't you carry your dead back to the jail? Before you count yourself among them. What is that going on out there? Like, good night? I 
That's what he wanted. Does he really though? Oh. This show has my head spinning because <laughs> there's so many twists and turns. I never know when, I never know when Will is just dreaming. I never, like what if he's in a coma and he's just like picturing all of this? Like, I don't even know. This show, um, Hannibal, all he wanted was to hear Will say that he forgave him and for Will to give him some understanding. So maybe now they're going to be together, like, work together. I don't know. I don't know what the end game is. But man, what a twist. I was so upset that Will had passed. And I was like, you know, his ending was so abrupt and all of this. And then he's alive. Yay. I was so happy. Um, that whole twist with Abigail not really being there and him just seeing her. Oh, that was frustrating because Initially, I was like, wait, how she survived? There was like a ton of blood. So even if it wasn't, you know, cut, she lost a lot of blood. So I thought she wouldn't have survived. And then for them to be like, oh, she's alive, showing her and all that, and then, then take her away again. Oh, that's so frustrating. But um, I, liked, I liked her scenes with Will. Um, I like how he pictured her in his mind where she she was like, a daughter to him. So, um, I really enjoyed that. The first episode was a little hard for me to follow because I didn't know the time frames. You know, um, I thought that he was in Italy, then went to France, or he was in France and went to, but he really was in France, then he went to Italy, and then he took over that professor's um, job, which made sense. But I don't know why that man kept following him. Like, who? I guess he just went back to Palermo because he used to be the TA for the professor. So it's not unheard of. But for him to run into Hannibal that easily, I don't know. It seemed a little weird. I thought maybe he was going to be like an investigator uh, in Europe looking for Hannibal. Like, working with the FBI or something. So... Um, like an inspector of sorts, kind of like this guy in Italy who's been looking for Hannibal tw for 20 years. So that leads me to believe that Hannibal in his 20s, so young, was so good at killing people and demonstrating them and like displaying them. That's the word I'm looking for, displaying them even in his 20s. Because he's probably, what, like 47, 48, maybe? Um, so he must have been about 27 or so when this guy called him El Monstro. So how long has Hannibal been doing this for? Start very young. And Hannibal is just good at everything. He speaks different languages. He's very knowledgeable about um, the arts. And he's very cultured. And he just, he's super intelligent. So I guess it wouldn't be so hard to think that he was so good at that in his 20s, but it's insane to me that he's been doing it for so long that he knows how to get away with it so easily. Um, I'm interested to see where this season's going to go because now I know that Will's alive again. I kind of want them to be a duo, if I'm being honest. I'm Now that I... I now, after like the last few episodes of last season, I want them to just be together and be a duo and maybe they'll turn on each other or they'll get caught together or one of them's going to get caught or what, like they're after the both of them, but then Hannibal loves Will and like finally turns himself in. Like, I don't know. I mean... I don't know if Hannibal has the capacity to love like that, but we'll see what happens. I'm excited. So for full and edited reactions, you can subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description box, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.